Okay, you ready, Alex? Yeah. Okay. How long have you been an artist? Oh my god. Um, 14 years. 14 glorious years. Years. And who inspired you? What inspired you to be an artist? Um, graffiti and old tattoos like um, the tattoos that I saw in the 1000 Tattoos book from Philip Liu and Marcus Pacheco. And um, I was lucky enough to, I waited f almost almost 15 years before I got to meet Marcus and I ended up getting to learn to tattoo from him and I've been tattooed by Philip Liu a bunch of times, my f absolute favorite tattooers in the world. So I <clears throat> I was owned a piercing shop before and I got to see all kinds of really good tattoos and I spent a lot of time in San Francisco before I moved there and that was where like the mecca of really good tattoos came from. Like for me at least, like Ed Hardy and like all the guys at Everlasting and Primal Urge and just all these amazing tattoo shops that were all located in one location, like one spot where you could almost walk to each and every one of them. So me as being like a young kid, like a drug addict and just a graffiti writer and like I got to just see all this stuff that I wasn't capable of attaining at all because it was just way too far advanced for me. I, I, I just could look at it and be like, that shit's awesome and I really want to get something like that someday. I didn't even know that I could ever be a tattooer because I couldn't draw anything and before I did, even before I started painting graffiti, like I was just worked at, owned a piercing shop and I didn't, didn't, I didn't really have much of a goal of anything except for like, this is cool now and, and I'm doing much better than I've ever done in my life. So, but, but I never thought like that I would be able to be a tattooer and never thought that I would be able to be like actually good at it. So it took a long, long road of, of hard shit to get to that, to get to the point I'm at now. What's your style or do you have a particular style? I mean, I do lettering. I, I do freehand lettering all day. I, I, I've done that for, since I started, like I wanted to do lettering, only lettering tattoos when I started and I, and I um, my, my boss at the time told me that I couldn't do that, like I couldn't make a living at just doing lettering. It wasn't possible. So then I had to learn how to do like every, everything else like besides a portrait, like a tribal dragon or some other stuff, which which then made it so that like today I could do whatever I need to do. Like if I did walk-in tattoos, like I could do those. If I needed to do like a tribal armband or something, I could do it. And I do all kinds of other stuff, but mainly like I was influenced by Jack Rudy, who I saw doing what he does, and it, like he's just the best that there is at any ever lettering period. So. He's given me years and years of help, like critique my portfolio every year for my first like three or four years, just looking at everything and telling me what sucked and what didn't suck, and being really like abrasive about it, but like so perfect and cool. What part of the creative process excites you the most? I mean, I like all of it. Like, I like hustling tattoos. I like drawing tattoos. I like making tattoos. I like making tattoo machines. I like using those tattoo machines to make my tattoos. Um, there kind of isn't anything about tattooing that I don't like. Like it's 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 honestly like a hundred percent of my life. Like every day, there's there isn't really any day that I'm not thinking about that. Like even on vacation, if I've ever ever gone on one, but it's always the same. Like tattooing, 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 always. And then everything else can come from that. Because if if that's okay, then then my life is okay. And besides that, it, it yeah, it, it wouldn't be if that wasn't okay. What role do you think art has in uh, in society? Um, what role does art have in society? Tattoo art. Your art. My yeah. art, like, well, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm a vandal at heart. So, like, my art's gonna be in your face whether you like it or not. So, like, being able to write on people after being able to write graffiti for 20 years like it's the same thing to me it's like catching a freeway spot that you're not going to be able to get rid of is like writing on a person especially because when the when when you see a tattoo done by somebody that like that's their shit then it doesn't matter they don't you know nobody even has to tell them that you did it if you see a big sleep tattoo you know he did it like or somebody copied it so no matter where he goes in the world, someone's gonna look at this forearm thing and go like, oh shit, Big Sleeps did it. Even though it doesn't have his name on it, it's the same thing, like someone's gonna see that and it's just like writing on somebody's house and it running there for 10 years so that everybody driving by on the freeway can see it. Um, so as far as like role of art in society is like kind of think whatever you make of it, like whatever you force on people. <laughs> um. What was the most 
most fun project you ever did? Man, I, I like I said I love I love to tattoo. So like, I live to tattoo. Like yeah, everything everything is good, you know. Like besides maybe somebody being a pain in the ass or something like that. Like every, everything is pretty pretty fucking good. Like just to be able to do that for a job every day is is blessed, you know. What's your dream project? So my dream project is to be able to do this shit for for <laughs> as many more years as I already did it for, and more and more and more like dream projects will come and come up and I just I, I yeah I just want to be able to paint graffiti and tattoo and yeah live like that's my dream project okay I'm done yeah that's it well it's easy see I didn't I wouldn't do anything scary or anything do you have a uh, you have an Instagram yeah norm love letters okay and uh, what is it I'm sorry norm love letters and what about it are, are you in a shout out that's my shop, Love Letters. Okay. okay. Yeah, my shop Instagram is Love Letters Love Letters underscore tattoo.